Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the frontoparieto occipital region of the skull. This is the frontal bone, then you've got the parietal bone behind that, and then the occipital bone behind that. We've already spoken about the temporal squamer in another video. The lacrimal bone and the zygomatic bone have also been spoken about. Frontal lobe will go into the frontal bone, the parietal into the parietal bone, and then the occipital lobe into the occipital bone. There are four sutures on the superior surface of the skull that you need to remember. We have a mnemonic for this one. Monkeys can't sleep long. So the M, it stands for metopic suture, going down your forehead. You've got the C, which is the coronal suture, horizontal. You've got S for sagittal suture, vertical. And then you've got the L for the lambdoid suture, horizontal, next to the occipital bone. The point where the sagittal suture meets the coronal suture is known as the anterior or the frontal fontanelle. And the point where the sagittal suture meets the lambdoid suture is known as the posterior or the occipital fontanelle. They are also known as bregma and lambda, respectively. There are two other points. You've got the terion, which is the point where the frontal, the parietal, the temporal and the sphenoid bones meet. And this is known as the terion. Then you've also got the asterion. This point is where the parietal suture meets the mastoid suture. So you've got the parietal mastoid suture. So once again, M, C, S, L. Monkeys can't sleep long. Metopic, coronal, sagittal, lambdoid. Okay, I'd like you to remember three other structures. So you've got the superior nuchal line. You've got the inferior nuchal line. And then you've got the external occipital protuberance. The nuchal lines are points of muscle attachments and the external occipital protuberance is the point of the attachment of the nuchal ligament. On the frontal bone you've got the frontalis muscle. On the parietal bone you've got the gallia aponeurotica or aponeurosis. On the occipital bone you've got the occipital muscle. Some neurovascular bundles present in the frontal parieto occipital region are the superficial temporal artery and vein, the auricular temporalis nerve. We've also got the occipital artery and vein, etc. About the lymphatics in this region, you can watch my video on the lymphatics of the head and neck. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Thank you.